Okay, so I have gone ahead and um, unwrapped these um, half pans and I put them in um, an order that doesn't make any sense uh, right now, but I'm just kind of um, so that I don't get confused. I kind of um, put them in the order that I was kind of selecting them and writing them on the list when I was about to um, buy them. So, and that way I kind of um, have it here. And so what I'm going to do eventually is once I kind of fill all the colors, I will then rearrange the whole thing. I will take out colors and I will put colors that I buy new in the right order of the color scheme. But for now it will do because it helps me to see which are the new colors that I got. So they're right here. I am going to actually take the new um, sketchbook that I got and I'm going to swatch them. So, okay. Now, let's see. So the first one is geranium red. I'm just going to grab a pen or water brush. So that's this one right here. Oops, a bit much water out. And this is that color. It's beautiful. The reason I ordered it was because on the dot card that I got, it just looked so beautiful. So I'm going to wash it out a little bit just to see the difference. And in fact, I think I should have enough space to do two on each side. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. So the next color, I'm just washing my brush off properly because I don't want the next color to go into this. So the next one is uh, Quinacridone Red Light, which is next to it. I'm going to go this side. And this is a beautiful color, great for florals if you like to paint florals or in my case as well a lip color blush color all of that good stuff the next one is ruby red deep so these three are from the new 2017 release so they're new colors and the next three are from their regular line so this is a color that's really beautiful and everyone says how unique it is and that you can't find it in other brands there's just nothing like this color and although it's very kind of um opaque the color is so beautiful that i don't mind that it's a small exception i'll make so this is sub green. Sub green is my favorite green in um, watercolor, and some brands do a very nice sub green. Um, you can easily mix it, but it's such a convenience color. And the next one, or the final one, is brilliant purple. It's a nice pink color. Okay, I have um, actually looked into um, these quite extensively because I have the brochure with all the details of the pigments and transparency. If you are into watercolors as I am, then you will enjoy this bit, I think, because it's quite informative. So let's start with geranium red. Um, basically, like I said, these three are new, marked new from 2017 release. Now, geranium red is meant to be a semi um, transparent now i'm saying it's meant to be because i'm actually going to do my own transparency test and that's what i really recommend um you to do as well with your watercolors because quite often what the uh, manufacturer puts onto the label is not always what it is in reality and um so it's best to know your watercolors extensively for them to work very well for you. So, going back to geranium red, it's meant to be semi-transparent and it's got three stars for light fastness. 
and what that means uh, it goes up to the five which is extremely light fast and one um, kind of not not very um, good light fastness so three stars for this one then you get also the information for staining so um, it could be staining semi staining or non staining in which case if it's non staining it means that you can easily um, go back to the color and kind of lift it now in this case it's staining so you'll have more trouble lifting it and then we also have um, semi sorry going to um, quinacridone red light now this is a transparent color and I love transparent colors it's got four stars for light fastness and semi staining now ruby red deep it's a semi opaque with three stars for light fastening and it's staining cobalt turquoise is semi opaque and it's got five stars so extremely light fast so this is the best um, light fast weighting out of these six colors and it's a semi staining color sap green is transparent color with three stars and it's semi staining brilliant purple is a semi transparent and it has no light fastness in there because it has a fluorescent pigment which means it's um, it can't be light fast when it has a fluorescent pigment and it is semi staining now I'm going to do the staining test now as well so I'm going to just take a brush and a bit of a napkin and making sure that my brush is completely clean and I'm going to go into the darkest part of the swatch and try to lift the color and see where I get so it lifts to some extent now this is the staining color the semi staining I would expect to live better and yes it does and then we got staining again so I expect it to be the same as the one above as you can see at first it hardly does anything and you really have to go in and you have to be quite wary of that because if you try it too many times you can start damaging the paper so that's as much as I would get it to lift now this is again semi staining so none of them are fully staining by the looks of it so it lifts quite well then we will go into the sub green which is semi staining so the same thing lifts quite well I'd probably say it lifts the easiest out of them three <coughs> and this is semi staining so the same thing lifts quite well okay so over here I'm going to do the transparency test and all I'm going to do for that I'm just going to zoom out a little bit is just going into these colors once more and this time putting them over this black line and like I said to you this is the um, the good thing about this a little sketchbook is obviously the fact that you can use the cover paper because it's the same paper as here so that's the good thing you can utilize that page Oop. okay so this is that next one is quinacridone red light Next one is Ruby Red Deep. Mm. 
Okay, next one is Cobalt Turquoise. Now we have sub green. So two colors from these six are meant to be transparent. And those are the quinacridone red light and the sub green. And the final one is going to be brilliant pink. That is it. So I'm going to use my heat gun now and then we're going to come back and have a look. Okay, so I've tried them now and this is what they look like. So these two colors look the same opacity and they are, I'm sorry, they're semi transparent and semi opaque, both of them. And then the rest seem to be kind of like the same, really, to me. I don't see much difference between the brilliant purple and sub green, for example. And connected and red light. So although these two are supposed to be transparent and these two semi-transparent, I would say they're kind of the same, really. Um, I don't see much difference. If anything, I find that maybe this one seems to be more transparent than this one. It's a bit of a difficult kind of you know if it's only marginal difference there then it's difficult to really see it 100% but they seem to be um, transparent enough to me okay so the final thing because I have a little bit of space here I just want to mix the turquoise blue with the sub green and see what kind of color I can get because it's a very beautiful color and like I said before, this palette is so uncomfortable, it's really impractical, it's just so massive and huge that half the time it's just difficult to use. So here I have mixed up the two and that's the colour I'm getting. <clears throat> so that's with sub green. And if I add more of the turquoise, then I get this color. It's quite pretty. And then if I add more of... Actually, now I'm going to try this other one. I'm going to try turquoise, cobalt turquoise with say the brilliant purple actually I want to see whether that creates a nice purple oh yeah that's a beautiful color look at that and in this case oh it's a nice separation here I'm going to add a little bit more of the pink And I'll get this color here. That's interesting. That's almost like an ombre. Looks quite pretty. Yeah. And then it seems that the cobalt blue has a nice separation in the in this color as well over here. And slightly in this color, but mostly you can see it in these two colors. Okay, so I hope you found this um, helpful and enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See you soon.